Hey gang, welcome back to our bathroom remodel. Come on in, the, in here where the tub is, and I'm going to show you what we did this morning. The fence is actually drying still. We had wanted to waterproof this today, but this has to be dry. So I took advantage of that, and I found this uh, Schluter flange. I actually had one at home in my very organized garage. <laughs> so there's this Schluter, makes this product. It's got a rubber flange here around the pipe, and then this collar, you use thin set to attach it to your backer board. And it makes for a, a nice seal right there. So we're gonna let this dry. Uh, if it dries today, we'll go ahead and waterproof, but if not, we'll just waterproof tomorrow. Let's go over here by the vanity, and I'll show you what, what I did this morning. This bathroom's gonna be kind of a modern look. And these cabinets were custom made by a, a local guy, young guy, just starting out and did a great job. My wife gave him the plans and just a flat door. And then you see the profile on this, this piece right here? That's gonna get applied here on all four sides. And then this reveal will match the reveals between the doors and the drawers. It'll look really cool. And this all gets painted a nice uh, cobalt blue. We'll use our Airbus for that. So we're gonna actually build this frame outside and then we'll come back and apply it to the face of the cabinets. So earlier today, I installed the cabinets. And let's start over here, Jordan, behind you. Now these cabinets are very tight. They had to be because of our design with that frame. I mean, check out right here how tight that is. And then over here also, same thing. I didn't have any room to adjust them. They, they were so tight that I had to plane this back corner. You can kind of see my, my planer marks, a Bosch electric planer. Cause there's mud build up here, drywall mud build up because of this inside corner. But I just had to do this one. Once I did that one, uh, everything was, everything slid in just fine. So I got this one level first. There's shims under the bottom. And then if you remember one of our videos, I filmed where all these studs were and the water lines. So I referenced that today. I found all my studs. Remember they're on the flat because they were padding out this wall for, to accommodate the plumbing. And then I set this one first. There's a screw in the corner and there's one in this corner. And then I put one here. There's a stud here for that box. And so I put one there. So that secured that cabinet. Then for the middle one, I got it flush here and here, and I attached the two boxes together with three screws. One, two, three. They're a little long, so the point is on this side where it won't be, uh, it won't be a hazard to anybody. And then this one, I think I put, and that was it. No screws on the back. So this one is just being held onto these two. It's also so tight that... Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And then this was the last one. Screw here, screw here, a screw here. And of course, they're all screwed together. So very strong, plumb level, square, all the good stuff. So now let's measure from here to here. And here to here on our styles. We'll go out, we'll cut our pieces, come in and test them and then we'll go outside and assemble them. So let's go out to the saw and get this done. All right, we're out here at our fancy work table. We got them all cut and we're gonna put a pocket screw. We're gonna put just like that. You think they're gonna hit, bud? They shouldn't. And, yep, they'll miss. Yeah. One from each side just to hold that miter tight. So let's put some glue on there. So I, I got it aligned like this off the corner of the table and then Jordan got under there and put in two pocket screws and that's really nice. It that's, is really nice. Yeah, it's gonna be so much better installing this as one piece. Agreed. All right, let's do these other three. All right, our frame is all pocket screwed together. 
miters came out really nice. Really happy with that. So let's go inside and put this on. frame installed all we did was attach it from the back side with some screws remember the face frame was really wide on the top and the bottom and the two sides to accommodate this frame so we had plenty of room to get a screw back here on the bottom we could not get a screw in there we just that's the toe kick so we glued it and we have it clamped and then we use the scrap of our wood so we're clamping nice and parallel and this is dimensional lumber, so this piece, it was the best piece as far as being not, not free right here, when you, that you'll see when you open the doors, but it had a little bow in it. So we cut this block of wood to push it up where we wanted it until that glue dries. But that's it, we're done with that part of it. And Looks we, great. Yep, and we'll dial in all these gaps later. We can adjust the doors and door fronts. Right. So the last step for this is the, the top. Let's go outside and cut that top. And then it'll really start to look like a bathroom. <laughs> Ready? Yep. saw you think that'll work hopefully all right all right let's put a couple screws in it and that'll be it for that ready for paint all right there we go with the sub top you can really get a sense of how modern that design is we love it I think it's gonna be cool so in here uh, the dead set you can see it's still drying really surprised about that but we don't want to take a chance on putting the waterproofing membrane over that so we're going to let it dry one more day so we'll be back tomorrow we'll waterproof this and then we'll prime all of this we're going to uh, prime all the inside and all the doors and drawers in preparation for a coat of paint so we'll see you tomorrow hey gang little interlude this is after the official shoot. Uh -huh. Low behind the scenes. Yeah. We didn't film this project, but we are in it. We just want to meet the, the deadline. So we're out here repairing a soffit and they wanted us to take down the gutters. So that's what we're in the process of doing. You can see this one's coming down. We already did that side of the house, but we are absolutely. <laughs> it's just water though. The lightning's what we're worried about. Yep. With a big piece of aluminum gutter. <laughs> we're all right. Yeah. You want to see if you can rip that down spout off? Yeah. There you go. You yeah. can just set it right there. All right, a few more screws. And then I'm going to try to let that down so it doesn't catch those lanterns. Right. Yeah, this was a perfect project for us because we were able to come over here and help somebody out uh, after we were done at our main remodel projects. So obviously today we got gate kept by the cement board not being dry enough, but we had the rest of the day to kill. So little projects like these are good to have and pretty soon these are gonna be converted into DIY projects that we're gonna start pumping out for you guys. Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Tell me you got that. I did. <laughs> what you gonna do, stud pack? Well, I don't have a, I might have a ground over there at the light. You gonna mess with hot wires in a rainstorm? It's kind of hot. You know that? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's telephone. Oh. See that? Right. <laughs> That's when we used to have an actual telephone in our house. <laughs> I, re I remember, I was alive. All right, let's get out of here. All right, you sure you don't want to fix anything else? Some more stuff? 
Hey gang, it's the next day in this bathroom remodel. We're out of the rain, we're nice and dry. So right now what we're gonna be doing is prepping this cement board for the waterproofing membrane that we're gonna to apply today. And we're also gonna be prepping this, uh, this modern cabinet. We're gonna be putting a coat of primer on that today. But for now, let's focus on this cement board. I've got dad's favorite drywall knife here. What? <laughs> and I'm gonna be using it to scrape the cement board. This is step one in pre prepping this the cement board. So what we're going to be doing is just getting these chunks right here. It's kind of dried up and built up. So we're going to be taking the knife and just scraping it so it's as smooth as possible when we go to apply that membrane. And after we scrape the cement board, we're going to be taking the shop vac, vacuuming the bathtub all around here, getting it as clean as possible. And then we're going to be taping it, uh, taping this bathtub, this uh, this exposed piece right here. We're just going to be putting some tape over it. That way the membrane doesn't get on there. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, um, hard to mess up. So I'm gonna get cracking on that. And while I'm doing that, dad's gonna be outside and in here as well. He's gonna be prepping the cabinets right here. He's gonna be sanding them, breaking some edges. That way it gets nice and ready for some primer, right? Yep, we're gonna take the doors and drawers outside and shoot them outside. And then uh, I'll bring the sprayer in here and we'll give all this a coat of primer. So it's the same primer as this, so I'm not gonna tape any of this off. We're just gonna shoot it. Cool. All right, let's get to it. some more in there. here there you go you're awesome you had enough do a little more <laughs> wanna keep going <laughs> you can do the whole thing <laughs> That is the first coat. Everything is completely covered. Let's head outside and see what dad's up to. What you doing? So I got all the drawers and drawer fronts and doors ready to paint. So I set up this board with the, this is the drop from our countertop. So I just put these screws in it. Like DIY painter pyramids? Yep, so we'll paint one side of the doors, flip them over, paint the other side. But. You know, I hate painting outside under a, without a cover. <laughs> Get that leaf coming down. Let's just shoot them real fast and we'll move under the carport. All right. All right, guys, we spray painted our drawers. They look great. We brought them under here to dry and to give us some room out back. And we spray painted the backs of the doors and we went inside to get the cabinet ready and I heard it raining. It was a sunny day, just like this, and it's pouring. Typical 
in southern Louisiana. Classic. Right? right? But the primer had dried pretty much. We were able to save them, but we'll give this another coat. I'm going to give them two coats of primer anyway. Uh, I always like to do one coat of primer. That highlights all the imperfections, like on one of these drawer fronts. Yeah, see they drill through. So we'll fix that and all the other imperfections and give everything a second coat of primer and then two coats of finish color. So let's flip these over and go shoot the fronts of these. Put your end down. Yeah. Dad kicked the bucket. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> all, right. all right, now it can rain all at once. All right, take a look, Jordan, they look good. A few imperfections, but that's why we prime it, and we'll sand those out. So let's go inside and check out the base cabinet. Hey gang, we're back inside. We've got the base cabinet here, all ready to go. You notice I even took the door runners off because I didn't want to get them uh, full of paint. We sanded everything, broke the edges. When we say break the edges, that just means you're taking the sandpaper and barely rounding over that sharp corner right there on all these edges. Sanded all the insides. And while we were sanding it, we noticed that these rails were spinning. And that's because there's only one pocket screw here and here. So we took it apart and put some glue on that joint. Now it's great, it'll last forever. So I think all we have left to do is vacuum it and then we're ready for paint, right? Yep. All right, let's get it done. I said, Dad, you need to have a mask on and I need to have a mask on. He said, you're right. So we went to go get masks. Alright, that's first coat. Came out great. So you can see all the nail holes that, that show up. So we'll fill all those. We'll fill all those. We'll caulk here. Maybe even inside the cabinet. Get it perfect. Give it a second coat of primer and then two coats of that cobalt blue. Because this is really the showpiece of this cabinet, of this bathroom and we really want it to be perfect. And we found the best technique when doing this, uh, when doing cabinets like this, for, for, for me, is just those short bursts, right? Yep. From a distance. A yeah. Little, a little farther than I normally am, and short bursts. And that way we don't get any runs. Like, if I were to shoot right here, and then come across, I'd get a run right there. So a little farther back, short burst, and it really does a great job. And you gotta remember that you can always come back and apply a second coat if you missed any spots. Yep, yep. All right, let's go outside. I wanna show you a little trick. So for little jobs like this, when we're just painting out of a one gallon bucket, we put it in a five gallon bucket. That way we can transport it easy, like that. And then if it spills, this is gonna catch it. So we like doing that. Good tip. All right, gang, and while dad's outside cleaning the paint gun, I'm gonna be in here giving the waterproofing membrane a second coat. You can already see on the edges where the light blue is. I've already cut in all of my corners, so now I'm just gonna get the roller and lay a second coat on there nice and thick. The second coat always goes faster than the first coat. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done real quick. Also got the mask on, because there's paint fumes in the air. So let's go ahead and knock this out.
All right, gang, that's two coats of waterproofing membrane on there. Jordan did a great job. So before it dries, I want to take off this piece of tape while it's still wet so it doesn't tear later. See, just like that. Look at that. Look at that edge. Nice. Yep. Hey, what about a uh, bigger brush next time, huh? Bigger roller. Well, since you brought up the brush, what's up with this? That's my best brush, dude. Hey, I, I just found it sitting in a in a case locked in your truck, so I thought I'd... <laughs> you thought you could use right. it? Right. All right. All right, so if you don't use my good brush, I'll get you a bigger roller. Okay. Time. Deal? Deal. Deal. All right. Let me get this tape up right here. So you could actually shower in here now, couldn't you? You could. Yep. Because it's completely waterproof. Here we go. Nice. All right, gang, that's going to be a wrap for this video. We hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give us that thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Give us a comment down below and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Absolutely. That'd be awesome. And we'll see you on the next one. Yes, sir.